My name is Mike Nerichlow, sharing my love for people, wine, food, and all things made with a little bit of passion, I would say. <laughs> all right, another quick shotgun episode. Arrowleaf, their first crush red, 2008. Arrowleaf, another BC winery located in the Okanagan. Have a look there. It's a different blend on this wine. I'm really curious what they're trying to accomplish here. They've got Pinot Noir, Merlot, and Lamberger. Hmm. Three different varieties blended together. Let's see how this one plays out. Right away it says, um, ideal for first dates, second dates, and weddings. <laughs> Who knows what's going on? Really curious to taste this wine. I believe it's about $15. Let's see how it plays out. All right. Hmm. Okay. On the nose. Actually, it's got a... It's a juicy nose. I'll put it that way. But not like bright and acidic juicy. Kind of like juicy like... Cranberry, raspberry juice sort of thing. It's got a bit of kind of, kind of a chalkiness to it. And it remind, it's kind of young. I wonder if that has to do with why they're calling it first crush. Kind of young smelling. Kind of has that green smell to it. Hmm. Green and juicy. All right. They probably shouldn't have said ideal for weddings. And if you wanted to impress your first date and even make it to a second date, I apologize, but I probably wouldn't have used this wine. It's really too bad actually that wedding wine is a term for wine that's really not that great. Um, Cause many people use wine that's not that great for the weddings. Start using better wine for your weddings. <laughs> anyway, on the palate, it's got that juiciness I said on the on the on the nose, um, but it's flabby. It's very flabby. It just reminds me of kind of children's juice box juice. It's got kind of some raspberry, um, hint of cranberry, strawberry, maybe a bit of like maraschino cherry, like bright red fruits, but they're flabby. It's really lacking in acidity and a brightness. Um, the length on it just kind of falls off. Yeah. The tannin is just kind of there. The tannin really doesn't have much flavor or anything to it. Hmm. Not so much an ideal wine. That's really all I have to say about that. Wedding wine. Anyway, early first crush red. If you're wine shopping, Probably not the one to look for, 2008. I've had some epic wines from Arrowleaf, their Solstice series, everything. They make amazing wines there. They're probably trying to sell, it's a, it's a less expensive wine, lower in label. Um, this may appeal to a lot of people because it's a very simple, easy sipper. Um, but quality is definitely not over the top. Anyway, episode's running kind of long for a shotgun. Oh, I'm going to have to say, I don't know. 79 points for this wine, 79 and a half points, somewhere around there. You can try it. Again, super simple, easy wine to drink. Again, thank you for watching today, and we'll see you on the next episode.